we have had so many deep conversations about where it's all going and we just really, truly wanted to share it all with you. Now, there is good news, OK? I know it's not great to hear about inequality continuing and so on, but the good news is that for all of us that are here right now, we are already on it and we know what's actually taking place. And the good news is that you can actually change the way your organisation works today. You can make massive inroads to create a really, really secure and lasting competitive advantage for your business if you take action today. So consider this as an official health warning from the AI Institute that you really need to do something about bringing AI into your organization in 2025. You no longer have the option to sit on the fence and just wait and see. Because if that happens, the organizations, the likes of which we've been working with, they are already ahead. Because when I say to you, we're looking at like 20 to 28% improvement on efficiency, if you see that applied to your competitors and you're not getting that, you can understand that it could be extremely damaging. In fact, I would go so far as to say not doing anything about AI in 2025 is probably the biggest mistake you're ever going to make in your career. Now, I'm not going to be all about fear and gloom and doom. We have three really cool things that we want to share with you. And it's like a checklist for how you can uh, embrace AI and move forward with it. Now, this is all on our lovely new website, weareaiinstitute.com. There's a beautiful downloadable checklist that you can use. And I just want to talk you through the things you can do now to ensure that you're staying up to speed with AI. So the first thing is you'll see that in the next 30 days, I'm advocating that you get a small group of people from your team and task them with, with just playing with the tools. Give them paid access to tools. Don't be messing around at the tuppenny halfpenny place with the free tools, okay? Now I did say the next 30 days, so I am actually saying between now and Christmas, you should actually get this kind of thing underway. Maybe about 10 people, just really get them involved and starting to see at what they can do with the tools. The next, oops, sorry, the next uh, 90 days, which we're sort of thinking the first quarter of 2025, that's where you should be taking the learnings from your little mini pilot and spreading it out over several departments. We advocate uh, selecting four departments, perhaps, and set some nice stretchy goals and objectives and bring in some training to ensure that these people are able to hit those objectives of bringing AI. Measure everything, see what works. By this stage, you're going to start feeling it in the organisation and there's going to be this really, really strong flow of movement. And then in the following six months, you should be working on your AI strategy, rolling out the tools and the training to the rest of your business and then continuing to evolve because you're not going to just stay there. You're jumping into the river and you're going to just flow quickly like the rest of us. So the really good news is that we're here to help. We'd be delighted to have a conversation with anyone here who wants to, to, to talk to us. And the checklist of what you can do now is available on our website, weareaiinstitute.com.